Colonel Hammers, you better get Pierce by the way. Right, Major. Don't seem bad shape. Very. No, no, for the last time, will you get out of here? Who's Major, you cold-hearted vulture? There's plenty of decent, generous, dry people around here. You know, I'm really lucky to be in on the ground floor of something really big and important. And so are you. Because here's a chance to fill yourself full of fulfillment. see this dilemma has caused you deep and heartfelt grief. Then you'll take this charity job from me, Father? Yeah. You have the Father. I'll do anything. I'll put you in for a medal of honor. I can do it. I've got the floor. Finger, you know I'm not interested in glory. Okay, okay. I'll repent. No booze. No gambling. No women. Well, no booze and gambling. Clinger, please. All right, all right. I'll go to services every Sunday. The Bibles, I'll dust them for you. Clinger, shut up already. I'll do it. You mean I convinced you? You didn't have to. Collecting money is right up my alley. In fact, we had a course in the seminary at putting the bite on parishioners. Oh, thank you, Father. You're a prince among priests. Listen, uh, about those promises, I just got this bottle of Ouzo. You may have a drink. No, I was going to drink it at this floating craft game. Uh, well, that's your decision. On Sunday morning. <laughs> well, it's a shame you won't be able to make the game. And by the way... There's no drinking in church. <laughs> Blood pressure, 60 over zero. This pulse, you can call it, that's 120 and thready. Sunday duds on Tuesday. Well, you see, I'm the new charity collections officer, and I need all the help I can get. Save your sales pitch, Father. I gave it the card game. A full house. I had a full house. All right, Igor, I'll let you off the hook, but nobody else. I'm going to stand at the end of the serving line and solicit everyone who passes through. In my working clothes, who could possibly turn me down? Hey, that's not a bad idea, Father. You're a pretty shrewd cookie. Well, I do believe people are essentially good, but sometimes you have to put them in a half Nelson to get them to cough up. <laughs> okay, Father, I'll tell you what. I'll kick in the first three bucks for you. Why, oh, that's wonderful, Igor. Bless you. I thought you said you lost all your money in a card game. Well, I did, but every month I set aside three dollars for the orphanage. I need the deduction. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean that money was earmarked for my children? Hey, Father, a GI's dough only goes so far. If you want people to give to the charity drive, it's going to cut into your orphanage fund. But that's not fair. I've never seen a man write so much. You really must miss the wife and kid. Very funny. Well, you never told me how much there was in this stupid catalog. Not only you have to count it all, you have to alphabetize it, completely order the amount on hand, and cross-reference it. Gentlemen, my serenity is being disturbed. What you get for being such a pushover? Never trade a favor for a favor when you can stoop to blackmail. <laughs> If you gentlemen handle your affairs sufficiently as I handle mine, you too would be looking forward to a day of rest and relaxation. Quiet, will you? Quiet. Hi, Father. Winchester, you are a dirty stinker. Put that back. What? You don't listen to him, Charles. Nobody takes the word of a priest. I've been doing a little investigation, and I have found out that this belongs to you. I have the cherry ledge. Well, it did belong to me, Father, but it's long since passed from my hands. Well, it's back. 
Major, it is a very low and unscrupulous person who abdicates the opportunity to do good work for his fellow man. Tell me, are you such a person? Certainly not. Every Christmas I give $2 to the postman. No, I certainly do give till it hurts. Well, what do you expect, Father? He's the kind of person who would give a drowning man a glass of water. All right, then, Winchester. Here's what it comes down to. This job has been passed on to me, and I am not going to do it. So when General Crenshaw gets this empty ledger back, he's not going to feel so charitable. Not to mention Colonel Potter. And the man they're going to hang is the man whose name is on the assignment sheet. And guess who that is? You'll be busted so low, you'll be saying, yes, sir, to Klinger. <laughs> considered that there are people less fortunate than yourselves, people who need your financial assistance, <coughs> such as me, <laughs> you may have a slight headache for a day or two, but